accelerating for terminal velocity. Things should start getting a little bit better now. A lot of vibration now. We're pulling six knees. Down to five. Touch down in 55 feet now. Dairy 9 crew, this is Dairy 10. Over. 20 feet off the deck. I do think something happened in the distance there for 10. 10 feet. Shape. All right. All systems checking out. Roger that. Aries nine. This is Aries ten. Over. No response. I'm going to run diagnostic on the communication systems right now. Everything came back fine. We're picking up telemetry from the satellite, so they should be able to hear us. Aries 9, this is Aries 10. Over. All right. You want to get ready to disembark? Yes, I'll go first. Roger that. Who? Who? Okay, now. Opening or depressurizing or pressurizing something. Izing. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I'm putting computers in standby. Opening hatch. Prying down primary systems. Jumping in. Ooh. We're in sleep mode. All right, Roger I'm that. down and squatting in the corner like a fruitcake. Roger that. I'm coming down right now myself. All right, I'm getting clear of the hatch to be able to shut it. All right, closing hatch. Hatch is secured. Roger, Dodger. Aries 9, this is Aries 10, over. Okay, who... I'll wait for you to get all the way down the bigger ladder. Okay. I am down. Roger that. Exiting ascent vehicle. And I will secure and lock the hatch before coming down. All right, I got the hatch released. It, the, the hinge was basically stuck, but hatch is secured. Okay. Coming down the ladder now. Opening the lower hatch. Roger that. Okay. I am in the airlock. Roger that. Coming down behind you. I see it's clear. All right. I'm stowing the latch now. Okay. It's secured. You can go ahead and shut the door. Pressurize. Um, pressurize. Pressurize. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'll go and uh, extract the buggy. Roger that. Uh, hey, do you want to plant the potatoes right away? Sure. If you want to head out, I'll grab our supplies for the mission and plant the potatoes, and then I'll meet you out there. Okay. And I'll load up some extra fuel. Roger that. Shutting the airlock door now. Coming in behind you. All right, I'm going to go upgrade my suit real quick. Home sweet home.
Okay, I'm gonna go t change my suit and head out and get the buggy out. Roger that. I'll be right behind you. I'll let you get through the suit room first, and I'll take care of the stuff on the inside like we talked about. Alright, I'm gonna take a medical tricorder. Hey, wait, there's only one. Oh, no, we got two here. Okay, I got a tricorder. Yeah, anything you don't grab, I'll bring with us. Okay. I'll come out with it. I'm just gonna grab the tricorder and the drill. Okay. I'm out of the way if you need to. Roger that. Thank you. Okay. Medium suit. Okay. Pressurizing airlock. Suit room is secured from the inside. I'm proceeding to the cabinets. Roger that. External floodlights are on. I'm powering up the computer and communications array. Aries 9, this is Aries 10. Over. Current time is 9.44 a.m. for our logs. Entering airlock. Depressurizing engaged. All right, confirm system check. All of our systems are online. Comms are working. Exiting the airlock. Okay, heading out of the airlock. Roger that. Securing airlock. And on my way to the boogie. Hello, out there, I see you. Hello. Can you see me out the window? Yeah, you just turned the corner. Oh. I saw you coming down the ramp from the window. Is it getting dark or stormy out, man? Uh, current Martian time is 9.48. A.M.? Yes. Minus 22 Celsius. Unless there's no weather Earth readout time. that I could tell. I can't seem to... There it is. Okay. Right. I'm going to merge our two channels while I'm in here. So Aries 9 will be able to hear us. So if they start picking up our signals, we get closer to them, they can reply. Right on. Do you want spaghetti with meatballs, beef sandwich, or pork and mashed potatoes for your meal? Uh, pork and mashed potatoes sounds good. Roger that. Probably won't taste good, but sounds good. Planting is complete, so I'm loading up our supplies, and then I'll be suiting up in just a few minutes. Okay, in the buggy. Essence. Okay, I'm gonna load, load up some fuel and oxygen. Now, wait a minute. I wonder if you should take an extra oxygen for the airlock. We'll need two for the fuel. We can fit one in the back of the trunk, so yeah, we yeah. can do that. So, so yeah. three oxygen and two fuel? Yeah, uh, yes. All right, you said you took a drill and a medical tool, correct? Yep. Or a construction tool? All right, cool. 
I won't bring anything for you of those then. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna refill this. Alright, I'm suiting up now. Well, I'm still trying to fill the second fuel canister. Roger that. Alright, I've got water, I've got food, I've got pills, I got a drill, and I got a medical. I'm in my suit. My suit checks out no leaks. So I will be approaching the airlock now. Turning off interior lights of the suit room. And repressurizing the airlock. Filling up the second oxygen. Matter of fact, get this one over uh, here. Oh, why can't I put that one on there? I can't put that one on there? Interesting. Can't All right, I'm depressurizing the airlock right now. Oh, crap. Drop the canister. Yep. Okay, I couldn't seem to put this one on the... Pack, is it? Um, I've rotated 100 degree, 180 degrees when I've had that problem, and that seemed to help. I was trying to, to try I, I was trying to put it on the the input <clears throat> and it was already empty so <clears throat> that might have been it. Ah, gotcha. Okay, third oxygen. All right, I'm exiting the airlock now. Shutting airlock door behind me. Keep the Martian dust out. Third oxygen is in the trunk. And I'll wait here to pick up the stuff. On my way to you with the stuff. Do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 do. Do 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 do. I salute you, sir. Evidently. All right, I will step back so it falls in front of you. All right, we will start with your. Space pack vacuum pork. Give me that. And your personal favorite orange tinga tang. Gotta get some tang. And 50 capsules of Miko Van secret sauce. Sweet. Okay, got it. Okay, I'm driving. All right. Let's go. Do, 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 do. And I'm thinking, what, almost directly south from there? I will bring up the map once I get in this seat, and I will compare it to NASA's notes. Did I turn on the antenna when I... Yeah, I turned on the antenna. All right. Onboard computer online. Tying in trajectory and data specs, bringing up the map, and... Yes, straight south is a good first shot. If it landed roughly on its target, it'll be west of us on my side of the buggy if you go straight south. Roger that. I love this built-in vape tube they gave me. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sound like you're just taking a sip of a, your onboard tank. <laughs> yeah. Minus 14 Celsius.
Now I know they auto uh, pull in the parachute, so we won't have a big white thing to look for. Roger that. Which auto retract or something. I guess that makes sense because the wind would just blow it across the whole freaking surface. Yep. We don't want anything damaged, especially considering we're going to need this thing. You know all the radiation spikes that happen on this planet. Jeez. How about micrometeorites? What are we expecting in that area? We're supposed to be on the good side of the moon, or the good side of the Mars after this time of the season, so we shouldn't have that many, but, you know, those are those NASA eggheads, so we don't know. Is that it directly ahead of us? No, that's not it. I zoomed in on my... I think I see something over to the left there. See that rock way out in the middle? There's a couple small things near it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get up on this hill here. That. I'm gonna head towards those two rock, well, three rocks now, four. Over the hill, we can look around. Based upon my trajectory, you're actually almost heading straight for it because you're veering a little bit to the west, which is good. Just going where the terrain takes me. And we're still at five bars, so. Yep. It's good that the NASA egg had thought that far ahead that if you're two bars away, you're in safe distance for a supply drop. Especially a huge supply drop. And we're cruising at approximately 14, 13.9 kilometers an hour. Time for our logs, 9.59 and 30, mark. I might see something. Um, zoom in on various locations now looking for it. I believe it's going to be on my side of us based upon the map. Oh, it's right the hell here on the left. Dude, really? I thought that was a huge rock. Look at it. It's on the side. Oh. <laughs> I thought... Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a freaking rock. Well, good time. Good job getting us right here. Navigator. Wow. All right. You can drop me off close, and then you can get out of the way, because this thing's going to be a mess. All right. Should I hide behind that boulder? I don't know. Especially with the wind, you never know. It'll take me a few minutes to get all the base screws extracted, but once it deploys... I'm going to want to get some footage, so what I'll do is get in front of you. So, Radiation alert. Oh, crap. All right, we're going to have to step on it. Let me pull away, and then I want you to face me. Let me know when me. you're ready. Okay. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's probably the best way to go. All right, I want to get out and keep an eye on, on this. Let me know when you're ready to start, when you want me to start. All right, go ahead. I will start. All right, here we go. I just want to get some footage of it. I'm just going to rotate it, get a center line, and three. You might want to hold it a bit higher if you can, or can you not? I don't know if you can. Uh, this is the okay. max, right, is right here. This is the max right here. All right, here. go for it. Three, two, one. Whoa, look at that. The wind caught it. But, oh, dude. Is that some technology or what? Okay, I'm pulling the car closer. Uh, nanoparticles right there, dude. 3 minutes 54 seconds on the clock for the radiation. Well, we got to grab an air for the airlock. Roger that. As soon as you get here, I'll get the air in. Uh, do you want to just tackle the airlock at the moment? Yeah, that's fine. It's in the trunk, then.
This should be safe right here. Standby, initiate it. Now I'm stuck by a big tire. Okay, no, I'm All okay. Right. When, you're, when you're ready, go oh, ahead and crap. bring down the ramp. There we go. I'm doing it. How much time we got? Three minutes? Okay, this is a slow ramp, but not that slow. Extending ramp. Directly behind you, don't step back too much more than you already are. You take the oxygen one in there. Oh, wait. While waiting for the ramp, I'll go throw a methane in real oh. quick. You threw it on the floor, okay, gotcha. Alright. I can't get to the side where the buggy is, but you can put it on the inside. Two thirty mark. Roger that. Now, this will do the airlock and possibly our suits? It'll do the whole, yeah, it'll do everything. One can will be enough for okay. now. Okay. Matter of fact, I might even have time to grab one more as I come in. Two but minutes. I'm putting the methane in right now. Because we got to charge the battery. It's going to take Mark. a few minutes. I hear something bouncing around. That might be me. I'm having a hard time getting the methane to snap. Uh, you're working out. Need a hand? All right, no, I got it snapped. Okay. All right, heading around. Go ahead, you go first. One thirty mark. <clears throat> I'm in. You missed. Oh my God, are you all right, dude? Yeah. Dude. Oh, phew. Dude, that could have been bad. Are you in? Yeah, I slipped out some Martian dust. I'm in. Retracting. One minute. Mark. Oh boy, could this thing be any slower, huh? <laughs> dude, it'll be closed before the rad hit. But dude, when I saw you tumbling, oh my god. I was waiting for your... To see a big puff of air come out of your face. <laughs> I'll, want me to cycle or are you cycling? I'll try it. Okay. I've got the panel over try here. It. Is it sealed? Yes. You might not Roger see a that. number Maybe change. Cycle. You probably won't see the numbers, but it is activated. Roger that. 25 seconds on the mark. Mark. Well, we should be safe in here from the rads. Yep. Are we hanging the suits? No, because I got to go. We got to quit, quit. After this is done, we got to. So we'll check yeah, out. and we need. Plus, we need to leave the suits on to know when the um. Yeah. The situation's over. Five, four, three. Go ahead and get the door. Roger that. Okay. Oh, a minute. One minute. Yeah. This is a small one, so we'll be all right. Yeah. I'm gonna take off my helmet real quick in here and inspect the uh my helmet if you want to power up the vehicle okay but we still got to put the rest of the fuel in and stuff so yeah you can at least put up the computers and stuff like that though. all right i'm gonna take my helmet off for a mo ah oh, that's better phew at least we'll be able to see if everything's functional My helmet's structurally sound. It does have some HUD display problems, but I don't have the equipment here to fix it. Okay. So I'll be fine until we get back. 29 seconds left on the event. I just put the helmet back on to test it. I got you on the big brother cam back there. Roger that. Heading your way. Um... I am happy to stay in here given my helmet situation when this is over and get the crane ready if you want to go take care of those canisters. I can do that. Roger that. Everything Probably seems... Not. Let me check out the stats. Okay, yeah, we're 25% methane and 4% oxygen. 
Nah. But it, it, that should go up once we depressurize uh, that airlock. All right, let me um do that. Oh, you coming in? Yeah, sorry. I had my chair real quick. Get out of the way. All right, I'm in my seat powering up the secondary computer and the crane. I obviously won't do anything until the canisters are secure, but I'll make sure the crane's working and test it. All right, I'll put everything in right now. Roger that. So, okay, so that should put air back in the thingamajiggy. And yes, I'll put my helmet on, I swear! Don't forget your helmet! This wouldn't be the first time. I remember one time I almost blacked out. <laughs> caught it just in time well i was blacking out and i had to quickly hit the button on the door and re uh cycle i couldn't even get my helmet because it dropped i couldn't grab it i don't know cycling airlock all right cranes were warmed up come back with all positives according to the computer i'll do some motion tests prepping for when you're done now are you Gonna follow me back to the lander. We drop off the buggy, or what are we doing to go get the supplies? I can't really see my sure. um, cursor for some reason. Why is my? Oh, there it is. Yep, we do not. Um, we've got enough fuel with us, or we can drive the buggy back. No point in towing it unless we have. To. Yeah, no, no. And I will close um, the hatch when I go outside. What? Actually, given my helmet situation, you're already out there. Maybe you should drive the buggy back. I'm driving the buggy, buggy back for sure. Okay. Yeah, there's no point in coming back through the airlock and wasting oxygen at that no. point. It did fill it back up, though. That's nice. Yep. It was at 4%. What's it at now when you look at it? Uh, let's see here. It is at 5. Oh, wow. Even though the canister's full again. All right, I'm shut the outer hatch. I think it just recycled it. That's going to be my guess. Okay. Yeah, of course. Let's see. Um, retracting. Crane secured. Operational. No known issues. Victoria crater time is 10, 10, 39. All right, I gotta move the buggy out of the way because I'm blocking the access to the video. I'm gonna fire up the antenna on this thing as an independent booster. Aries 9, this is Aries 10. Over. Aries 9, this is Aries 10. Over. Negative on comms. I almost had it. There it is. Uh, methane's the other side. So, uh, yeah, these got to go on the outside, the two I have. The air. Yep. Okay. 
both methane, both oxygen have been installed. I'm getting into the buggy. I'm going to recycle the system and tell you what the stats tell me. All right, we've got 50% methane and 29% oxygen. Okay, I wouldn't uh, overdrive it. Roger that. All right, transmission reports no problems or leaks. Monitors report tire pressures are solid. Not bad for a deployable, huh? Right, dude, that was amazing. And I'm following We're you. Cruising, cruising at a pretty stable rate. With the fuel we have in here now, the computer calculates five kilometers. So that means with max fuel, we can go 10 kilometers. Based upon NASA's calculations to the Aries 9 site, we can make a round trip with one fuel. Real? One nice. full load of fuel. All right. Everything's checking out so far. Now, from what I read, um, they should have a fuel dump. Roger that. So even if we were low, we should be able to refuel there. Theoretically. You probably read the reports more than I did because I was focused on the landing for us, but last data I saw said that they had almost 90% of their base, their primary base set up. So oh, nice. Whatever. There should be lots of abilities for us to help them repair whatever's gone wrong. Four bars. Same here. I'm winning. Now you could drive right over the top of me with that thing. Hey, can you imagine if you were working with a deployable and you didn't set it up right, what could happen? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And the way the wind caught it like that, wow. Yeah, exactly. Lucky I was upwind. And people said 3D printers and 3D printable deployables would never make it to Mars, and look at that. Right? Billions of dollars to save NASA sending it that way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even pretend to know the science behind it, but it's pretty cool. I agree with that. Well, we're at five bars. So, yeah, we're pretty right on. be directly behind me. I can't even see. I'm off behind you to your right. So you're in front of me to your left. To my left, rather. I'm at 87% fuel in this. Roger that. We're 47, we were at 49. We're at 47. But I'm not, you know, using overdrive. Yeah, so I'm not even. It would be a lot worse if I was. Oh, yeah. We look so close, but yet so far away. Onboard telemetry system says that you're 
a uh, hundred meters away from me. No, wait, recalculate, 85 meters away from me. Yeah. I've got a lot of uh, dust in the air right now, though. A lot of marsh dust kicking up. I am going to... Hmm. Park right outside the hatch here. Roger that. Which airlock is this? Is this the suit room or the... The one by the big windows is the suit room. Okay, got the you. The big paint window. Oh, I see. The garage is still open. Oh, it didn't shut then. Oh, wait. Did it? Well, it was going up very slowly, but I'm wondering if something was jamming it. Yeah, I think I it jammed. Because it go up. Cause it's right on the other side of this. Wait, no, what am I looking at? There? No, it's right there on the road. Right. I, I cycled it a few times. Oh, okay. We might have to go in there and hop on it, put a little weight on it. Hop it loose. Should I park back up in there? Nah. Nah. Okay. So are we heading directly to the drop? Or what are we doing here? Um, yeah, I think we should. Okay. I mean, the vehicle's stable, but we got to get the rest of the supplies, the rest of the methane and the oxygen for this. True. Um, we need to get our supplies in order to go contact Aries 9, get closer to them at least, because they're obviously not getting our comm signals. So mission one is we got to get prepped. There it goes. Cool. I just had to wait for it. I did kind of leave you in the dirt, didn't I? <laughs> I wasn't uh, overdriving. No, this thing's just a beast. Yeah. That's the problem. Do we need anything? Um, I need another helmet. Do you want to run in and grab one for me, please? Uh, yeah, all right. Or do you want to just get one from the drop pod? We could do that, too. We should have spare suits in the drop pod. It's oh, really? Here. Okay, yeah. yeah. Is it getting dark? What the hell? What time is it? It's 1020? I that? think this dust storm is just so bad, dude. It's oh. got my visibility in half. Yeah, because look at the time. The sun's not even noon. Yeah. Not that it works the same, but... All right, you can stop there. I'm running around back. Yep, I've cut power to the um, accelerator. Just waiting for it to coast. Okay, getting ready to extend the rear ramp. Roger that. Okay. I like the way it shows you the angle. The degrees. Mm -hmm. Alright, internal computer said the door is coming down back there. Yep. Wow, I jumped right inside, dude. It's awesome. Retracting.
All right, we've got 27% oxygen, 45% methane, just FYI for the logs. And as I cycle, I'm going to keep an eye on the canister back here. Roger that. Cycling. You know, the cycle button doesn't seem to work on the back hatch here. Hmm. I clicked it, it changed, but I don't think it's cycling. So right, we'll try to repair it when we get the base set up. It says door locked. Let me try the internal one. There we go. Pressurizing. So, I, so we might have a problem with the cycle on the back panel, but the internal one works. All right. So as long as we don't lose battery on this thing, we can always remote control it from the main base if we ever had to cycle anything, but we have to get that fixed when we get the base set up. Well, I'm not, I'm definitely not qualified to yank that panel out and fix it, but I guess that somebody could walk me through it. Oh, I forgot to hang my suit up. Doy. Okay, suits on the charger. The air canister is actually full. Interesting. Oh, it might maybe it pulled from outside ones. I think it's supposed to first because the inside ones are like the reserve. Oh, gotcha. All right. At least that's the specs that I wrote on it. Should I drive? Yes, sir. Everything's all warmed up for you. Systems are primed. I'll flip on the external lights if you tell me you need them to see better. If not, we'll save juice. Yeah, I'm okay. I don't need them. And you want to be heading slightly south of east. So equivalent to 110 degrees. That's not them right in front of us? Okay. No. No, I've got them up on radar right now. Alright. I just, I can't focus right now, but... Do you want to make a hard turn to your right? Oh, right. Yes. Keep going, I'll let you know. I think I see him in the distance, actually. As blurry as it is without my zoom. Is that them right there? More. A little bit more to your right. Yeah, that's them right on the hill there, right? Yeah, triple stack. I'm detecting three stacks. Or th three of them, rather. Yep, you're pretty much spot on. They'd be a little bit to the right, but yeah, you're headed. Yeah, the I right see him on the other side of those rocks. Yep, switching to main view. All right. All right. Once we get there, we'll do a system check, make sure everything's working correctly on the machine and our mobile labs, and we can then. Proceed to the next phase. Right, here we go. Three, two, got to get just the right bolts hit. Hold on. Is it? Is there a timer, or is it uh, instantaneous? When you um, no, it's. I got You got to hit a couple things at the same time for all the parts to decompress. So. All right. Here we go. 
Oh God, it's flying at me. Why? Wait, what? The car. The car. Why? Oh my God. Dude, seriously. I've got to get inside. Okay, or I'm hang not on. Gonna survive. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Is it gonna? Is it gonna break it the gonna door up? I don't know. Um, I'm going dark over here. Okay, dude, hang on. Door's opening. You can have to. Ju oh no! Can you stand up? <laughs> no. I'll drag you in. I'll drag you in. Don't worry. 